Hey, I'm Ryan Guest with Evolve Bank & Trust, and today we're going to be talking about the mortgage process and all that entails. Uh, first and foremost, it can be quite uh, a big task to tackle. Uh, a lot of people get overwhelmed with the thought process of buying a home. Uh, they think it has to be complicated, uh, and that there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. That doesn't have to be the case. When you understand what is about to transpire and you understand what the overall goal is, it can be quite the easy task. And today we're going to talk about that. We'll talk about how that setting up the minor details in the very beginning will allow for a smooth process for not only for you, the realtor, the loan officer, that's me, uh, throughout the whole deal. So uh, first, let's get started. So. When you're looking to buy a home or thinking about the whole mortgage process, uh, the whole first thing that you really need to do and you need to concentrate on is getting the application. Application is like the foundation of which a home is built on. Uh, without that, the loan officer, such as myself, will not understand where you stand from a credit worthiness standpoint, from an income standpoint, an asset standpoint. And without that, those bits of information it makes it very difficult to help you understand what type of loan that you need, how much you can afford, how much your monthly payment is going to be. And that's going to allow also the realtor that's working alongside you to um, understand what they need to be looking for when they set you up on a search. So the first step is getting in contact with somebody like myself or my team. And what that allows you to do, like I said, it sets up the foundation. Um, normally when we do an application, we normally email you or text you an application that you can fill out online. Evolve Bank & Trust has an amazing uh, app that you can go on. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to fill out the application. And through that application um, uh, portal, you can actually upload your documents, uh, such as your W-2s, your paycheck stubs, uh, your assets. So once we look at the credit scores and uh, current debt, a lot of times you'll hear a, a terminology or term used called DTI. That's debt to income. Um, and what we use with that figure, as we got your income earlier, along with the credit report, we're able to figure out how much you can buy. Now, a lot of clients come in saying, how much am I approved for? Well, I kind of use a different way of looking at it, and I kind of go, how much are you going to feel comfortable with? Or as I call it, the sleep factor. When you go to bed at night and, and you're laying there, your head's on the pillow and you're trying to go to sleep and you've got a million different things uh, rolling through your head, what are you going to feel comfortable with at night paying for your monthly note that includes taxes, insurance, and if you put less than a certain amount down, possibly PMI, what are you going to feel comfortable with? What, do you, what is it going to allow you to sleep and not make you live from month to month on your house note or make you feel house poor? We want you to be able to have a uh, have a life outside of your house. So we're going to help you with that. So we're going to help determine based upon what figure you feel comfortable with and work those numbers backwards to tell you where you, that puts you as far as how much a home can cost. So I know I just said a whole lot right there. That's just the foundation. The foundation is very important with anything. If you don't have a proper foundation, everything else will crumble around it. So once that is done, uh, we're able to provide a pre-qualification or pre-approval letter uh, to your realtor. Um, and with the realtor, in today's times, um, it used to be years ago, realtors would take you out and show you a home without being pre-qualified. Those days are, are long gone. Uh, you have to have that letter saying, hey, I'm pre-qualified for XYZ amount of money. Uh, so once that's done, uh, the realtor will put you on a search if they have not already put you on a search and then you guys can, at that point in time, go look at homes and put a home under contract. So what we're going to go through right now, we're going to kind of go the basic breakdown. Now that that's done, we're going to look at other aspects of the deal. I want to talk a little bit about the realtor side. So the realtor is going to help you find the home that you're looking for, and through that process, they're going to help submit offers for you. Uh, those offers um, will, will come through us as well, because we'll provide also a pre-qualification letter based upon that offer that you're putting in. Um, with that, if you get, let's say your offer gets accepted, contract gets signed off on, so now you're under contract. You've reached a big milestone at this point in time. You are now under contract to buy this home, and now you're also pre-qualified. So now you're like, okay, what's next? 
Well, I'd recommend, as well as a realtor more than likely, to get a home inspection. Make sure that that home, make sure the bones, we talked about the structure, we're the foundation. Now you're looking at the home and the structure. So now you're looking at the bones, the bones of the home. And that's very important. You want to make sure that what you're buying is in good shape. Uh, make sure that your realtor uh, is understanding of any repairs that you may want and, and to handle those at different aspects because it's very important that you're not buying a, you know, a money pit house because I've had clients do it and they didn't get a home inspection and unfortunately it did backfire on them. So do your, your due diligence. Normally a home inspection can run from 250 to 350 depending on the size of the house. Um, at that point in time, we're really in control. The loan officer takes uh, complete control. So with the documentation that you provided earlier that we talked about, along with the contract, we order the appraisal. And then we also get you disclosures. Disclosures are the, um, the, the documentation breaking down the terms of the loan, such as what is your interest rate. So you can't lock in an interest rate until you actually go under contract. Um, so once you go under contract, we'll, we'll talk to you about what terms, what loan product, and then figure out what's best for you at that point in time. So rates are volatile, uh, especially in, in today's society. Rates go up and go down. It's like a, kind of like a roller coaster. So that's what's good about dealing with a uh, well-educated loan officer is that they're following the market, they're understanding the market, and helping you make the wisest decision for yourself and your family because it's a big deal. This isn't, like I said, this isn't a one-time transaction. This is a wealth building opportunity for you and your family to um, build something here. So once we've gotten that loan locked in, we'll, like I said, produce the disclosures. You'll go through there, you'll sign those. It has all the terms, what your monthly payment's gonna look like. You'll get in contact with an insurance agent. They'll provide you a quote or, or go ahead and solidify a policy for you on the home. We'll take that information along with the appraisal when we get it back, and we'll submit all that with your documentation to the underwriter. Now, underwriters sometimes have a negative connotation to them. One thing that I love about working here at Evolve Bank & Trust is we have all in-house underwriting and literally some of the best underwriters I've ever dealt with in my 17 years. They don't mind picking up the phone when I have a question or answering an email. This allows the process to go so much smoother than some other places I've had the opportunity to work with, which then, if I have a smooth process, you have a smooth process. Uh, once the underwriter looks at the file and makes sure that all the documentation that was needed is in there, we get a, what they call a clear to close. Now, they may come back and ask for some explanations on some things or ask for more documentation. We're going to come to you and ask for that. It's not because we're picking on you. We're just trying to get the loan closed for you and make it nice and smooth. Once the loan has been cleared to close and your closing date is set on your contract, most agents set it for 30 days. We will then get in touch with the title company. Title company has already been gotten in touch with by the processor. It has no bearing on what you're doing, so we're handling all that behind the scenes. And that's one good thing about having an awesome team that we do. Once all that's done, it'll go to closing. We'll get you your final numbers. You'll wire the money to the uh, title company, and you'll close on your loan. You'll be a new homeowner, and it will be a nice, smooth process from the very beginning to the end. And one of the great things I really love about myself, uh, not, not love by myself because that sounds kind of cocky, but one of the things I, I love about working here at Evolve is that the individuals that I work with, uh, they've been here for a while. Uh, we are, have very much a team uh, atmosphere. We want to see every loan close. We want to see people in homes. We want to see that smile. I want to receive that thank you, Ryan, for your hard work. That is, that's what excites me. It's not about the money. It's about the excitement of helping somebody become a first-time home buyer, a third-time home buyer, or their final home. This is what's exciting. Or even for people that are investing. You're helping people build wealth through this process. And that's what we really get excited about here at Evolve Bank & Trust.